as of right now here's a prime example of why I'm not happy with this update 19.1 from Garmin on my 106 SV this is mostly what I fish this is a little small stump right here and as you see I'm just picking the, the bright spots there's no target separation the fish everything is the exact same color or shall I say the same brightness and it's a problem because uh, the fish don't stand out I'm just having to put my jig down there and, and look for motion in, in some of that bright area as you can see right there on that zoom in shot that I just did Just don't get no better, y'all. That's a big old slab right there. Now, don't don't take it that. I'm, I'm uh, not able to catch fish. It's just that I'm having to do a lot more work uh, other than just scanning over a brush pile to see if it holds any good fish. Now on my lake it takes a lot of uh, scanning. You know a lot of these lakes a lot of the guys just put their troll motor on full blast and they're blasting through scanning for open water fish. It's not often that the fish hold in open water on my lake and I've caught my bigger fish, it, it could be a twig sitting down there and there'll be a big old slab sitting on it. So I'm just taking my, my time and scanning over this uh, area right here. And it's what I must do to get on quality fish. I've been hearing a lot of talk of, uh, of people uh, doing the force update to go uh, back to the 18.2 or whatever the uh, other update was to back their unit up off of the latest update and it, it's something that I really really don't want to do uh, the, the manufacturer of this uh, equipment we got that we've paid several thousands of dollars for is recommending that we don't do it and they they've named that you know a forced update that uh, they're not taking responsibility for if your unit crash it's really not a process that I want to do to my unit because if it if it crashes or something goes terribly wrong they will not warranty that unit and uh, I'm a pole boy so and I know there's a lot of people that that has, has spent their hard-earned money just like I did and, and don't want to throw that money away so you may want to think long and hard before you just go in and uh, see something done on YouTube and you don't know those guys uh, that's doing that I mean you, you just don't know I, I, I just don't have that kind of trust in something that I'm seeing on, on a video that somebody's doing uh, I, I'd prefer hearing it from the uh, manufacturer that is perfectly fine to do it although they do have the instructions to force update on their website they do have a uh, disclaimer right there that they're not responsible if something goes wrong it's just not a chance that I want to take so I'm gonna keep tinkering with my settings uh, I can sort of deal with them and as you can see I'm, I'm catching fish and and it's, it's showing me fish and it's just not as nowhere near uh, as good as what this unit was so hard to pass up fish it's so hard it's so hard to pass up good fish y'all i'm supposed to be out here on the hunt for a three pounder and just can't stop dropping the hook just can't stop dropping the jig on them good ones oh, amazing it's a lot harder than what what some people may think a lot harder really hard Don't get it, don't get it twisted. These these some good fish that I'm catching, but I, I'm supposed to be on the hunt for a three pounder, and uh, can't do it. 
Can't do it catching these pound and a half and smaller fish. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a lot of scans. I'm going to be zooming in a lot on my on my unit and uh, just let you look at the scans that I'm getting of, of you know, and my lake is so full of structure. I can't go 20 yards just about anywhere on this lake without uh, seeing something, a stump or log or brush pile or something. This, this, this thing has way too much structure in it. And... Uh, you can judge for yourself if you'll be able to fish with this and and uh if any of you uh would like to know the the settings that i'm running and uh, uh send me an email and and we'll uh we'll talk about it and uh but it's like i said i'm not happy with my unit right now uh but i, I can catch fish i just don't want to do that force update and uh my unit be the one that something happens and i end up having to trash it or or, or something like that uh, this new uh, LVES 34 transducer uh, it's not something that I want uh, I have zero use to need to see a fish a hundred feet out or see my jig a hundred feet out uh, th that seems to be t uh, targeting bass guys uh, so uh, I'll work with this LVS 32 and, until I can get it figured out or go on and come up with a, a update to, to help me get it straight And as you can see on that shot, you know, that, that was pretty much a stick up. It was uh, a straight up and down structure. Uh, fishing that type of stuff, the fish really stand out. Uh, you can tell the size of the fish. And uh, it, it's not a major problem. Although the fish and the, the structure were the same brightness. And I'm, I'm not for sure what adjustments it's going to take to get the the uh, structure a not so bright return but uh with the previous update the fish really stood out even in stumps in super thick structure uh, smaller structure like this or, or slim structure that stands up off of the, the uh, lake floor this uh, update will work fine but uh, it's like I said earlier most of what I fish is stuff that's really close to the lake floor stumps that are you know a foot or two high off the lake floor and this unit does not perform well with uh, fishing structure like that and we got a lot of scans left uh, so you guys sit back and take a look and see what I'm seeing with my unit Nice one.
what I'm showing you guys is what I've been looking for. You know, there, there are guys that, that are a lot more intelligent than, than I am with dealing with these units. But most of the videos that I've seen on, on uh, YouTube, uh, I, I'm just not happy with the results that I've been seeing. And uh, also, being able to see the fish and see your jig, see the reactions of the fish, it means a lot to me. Uh, I'm a full-time crappie guide, and I see the reaction that my clients give me when my unit is dialed in, and uh, I'm working really, really hard. I've been spending a lot of time out on the lake to uh, get my unit back to where it was. This pile here is uh, one that's a little bit thicker, and uh, you, you'll see that it is really hard to determine the structure from uh, from the fish and uh, this is this is one of the issues that that I'm having is I, I fish a lot of stuff that that get kind of gnarly and not being able to see that that crappie give a, re a lot brighter return than what the structure is is, is a major problem for me uh, but it's like I say I, I tinker with this unit a lot uh, I, I did uh, the uh, settings reset I did the sonar reset several several times and just start brand new and uh, I just haven't found the settings that I'm would I, that I would be totally happy with but uh, it's like I said this unit is very fishable where I have it at now uh, I'm, I'm still not not satisfied uh, I, I, I won't stop until I get what I want so uh, but y'all check it out and uh, look at what I'm getting uh, versus what you've been seeing on uh, on a lot of the videos that that's out on YouTube right now. Yeah, that's a bunch of little ones. And you see a good one by in the middle of the little ones. You got to catch all the little ones to get them out of the way. On this particular pile, you can really see that the target separation is just not there. And uh, all that I'm doing is is uh, getting my jig near that clump of brightness. Uh, 
and, and I'm looking at the brush pile and trying to analyze the formation of it and uh, what don't look like part of the pile I'm just sticking my jig right there and and uh, and eventually I'll see a little bit of that brightness move and I'll know that that's uh that's a crappie right there and in this particular case there's like four or five of them right here and uh, you'll see me take three or four of them off of this this pile but like I said there's just no target separation right now and uh, this is what I want Gorman to take care of for us mm-hmm Like I mentioned earlier, I am a full-time licensed guide right now, and uh, I do electronics training. And I, I know you can see when I get close to these fish, I'm making several adjustments to my rod. Uh, I'm also working the the uh, troll motor, and my transducer is mounted on my troll motor, and I feel this the the only way to go uh, to be more efficient with uh, chasing these fish out here. But uh, I do uh, electronics training, and uh, if you'd like to go on a trip with me to get out and and see the adjustments and and uh, how to get your jig near that fish and and the actions to take to entice that fish, send me an email. I'll put my email right here at the bottom. Uh, it is a pretty long email. Please make sure that you don't forget the S behind the cape because a lot of people do. Uh, let's get on some more of these fish. Y'all hang with me and uh, check out these scans that I'm posting up. Let's get them. Oh, yeah. Got enough for dinner, so perfectly legal fish. But uh, I'm on the hunt, y'all. Let me move. That little thing there is plump stacked. And I just turned the troll mode. Look at this. That thing's plump stacked. One thing that I try to bring you guys is is uh, the results that I get from anything that I, I put on any of my videos. Uh, a great mouthpiece can get you... Uh, in trouble if that's all you look look to hear from uh, I will tell you look at the results results is what you want uh, just because uh, there's a great advertisement or or uh, you know uh, I, I don't know how else to say it nicely but look at the results before you make a decision on on uh, doing something with your unit uh, I highly advise not doing that that backup that forced update uh, I'm I'm fishing this unit and, and it's working out, but hopefully all of the uh, manufacturers in our industry will uh, get a hold to some testers that give real feedback to them, and if there's a uh, improvement that's needed, they'll they'll know about it before they release uh, any updates or products to to the public because it could really hurt hurt the uh, the manufacturer if it's not good this 191 uh, update from Gorman uh, it's uh, seems to be targeting uh, people that that mostly open water fish uh, it, it does a really good job of showing open water fish. Uh, as you'll see here, I'm getting ready to show you a uh, fish that I caught in open water. So uh, take a look at this scan, and uh, you'll see that open water, it, it really does perform really well. A little better fish, a little better fish. <laughs> That's a little better fish.
Oh yeah, big girl. A little better fish. It's just stacked. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Any y'all wanna get out here and get on these fish? Y'all give me a, give me a shout out. Give me a shout. SK's Crappie Kitchen Adventures at gmail.com. Set you up a trip, come get you some of that. And get you some of that. Can you see in there? Nothing but horses. Nothing but horses. Look like a decent fish. A couple of decent fish. I don't think it's a three pounder, but they some good fish. There we go. There we go. We don't let these make it. 